Hi guys, and today we're going to see in Persis how to calculate a grid connect system, okay? We are talking about solar panels, of course. So, this is the beginning. They say, he said to us, project name, okay, I'm going to name grid one. Sheet file, material file, what is this? This is the sheet file of the irradiation of the sheet that we are going to do the installation. So we can put, we can choose this if we choose the sheet because we already have this file. Or if we don't have, we have to put new sheet. Okay. The program is going to do for us. We just have to choose the sheet. For example, I'm going to choose, I don't know. London, okay? And after you have to put a self-selected point. Yes, I select in Lambert, United Kingdom, Europe, and here, Meteor Data Import. We can use Metronor, NASA, PBGIS, Solcast, okay? I'm gonna choose NASA. All of them have almost the same. Uh, I can say data, but NASA is faster, so just put import, just accept. And here we have the radiation, <clears throat> the global horizontal radiation, the diffuse, and also the temperature. Yes, this data is really important, really matter for the calculation. When I put in OK, save the file. What say here? No early material data files available in the vicinity. Yes, was create a close city, maybe, but not in exactly this one. Doesn't matter. We have to choose another one, yes? Uh, okay, I'm gonna choose Shenev because I know that it is a data. A subselect point, import. So in the case that we don't have the data, yes, the of the place of the seat, we can search in Google and introduce into the PVCs manually, okay? Of course, Google, I'm for sure that have the data. Okay, yes, we have all the radiation temperature and these are more data that we are not interested in this moment. Let's put okay, save the file. It's okay. Yes, the synthetic hourly we have to save. Yes, all that is in yellow in the program is like a recommendation. If it's in red, it's because something is wrong. So say save the seat. Okay, we're gonna save it. For example, here is red because we didn't this. So we're gonna do now orientation. So here, file type, server annotation, system adjustment, a lot, okay? A lot, just with fixed title plane. So we have the title here and the azimuth here. And the optimization with respect to yearly, summer, winter. This is an on grid, so we're gonna choose yearly, okay? And here we have, this is important, the loss with respect to optimum. This depends on the plane tilt and the azimuth. So this is just to play a little bit. If we have 45 here, we're gonna lose 0, 06. We have 65, we're gonna lose a lot. So the plane tilt should be 
less 30. <clears throat> 40. With 40 is the ideal, okay? 0%. Asimut. Ninety, no. Okay, I guess that's the best one is zero. Yes, I just check in here. Yes, okay, zero was is as we did go from here. Clicking OK. Now system. Click on system. What we have here is yes, this super array that we're gonna have. We're gonna have just one. PBG array. So here we can put the plane power or just the available area that we have. For example, in a roof, we have 20 meters squad. We can choose 20. For example, okay. The PV mode product from 2018 filter all PV B fascial or uh, with the B max 150. Just all. So and here the manufacturers that we have, we just stay in all. We can choose. I gonna choose one of I don't know GA Solar. Uh, yeah. Now the inverter. We have here or uh, the inverter. Yes, and the plane power is 4.1. But there is some losses, so the system say, please choose the inverter model. The total power should be 0 0.3 kilowatts or more. Of course, we can choose a bigger inverter, but we're going to spend money without using it. We're just going to lose this money. So the idea is 3.3, .3. for example, this one. Okay, Xantrex, 3.3 kilowatt. And here what we have, nine models in series, just one string, so we have just one inverter. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna put in okay. There is something important here. I just put in system again to show something. Here, dominant PV power. This is the maximum power that we're gonna produce. And this is the maximum PV power that we're gonna use at 3.6, okay? in DC and we're gonna produce in AC 303. Okay, for example, if here we choose this one, they're gonna see it, they're gonna change everything because we need some tension, minimum tension for this inverter. So they change the module and the strings and this is the CGRI are exceed the specific mention available area. Okay. So, yeah, this is all the problem, yes, for the inversion. The voltage of the array is far lower than the minimum voltage required for the inverter. And if we put two, we have 
once just one series and two inverted. This is impossible to make. We should have two series with, for example, five inverter. Five solar PV. And this show other problem. Okay. This is just to play a little bit. So we're just going to our decision. I want one here. The array is greater than the inverter through maximum input voltage. Okay. So the voltage we handle this one. Yes, we have the operation condition of the right here. Okay. <clears throat> this is the operation voltage of the inverter. And these are the operation conditions with the voltage of the arrays. So all these numbers must be here, or at least closely, okay? And this is two, B and BP in 60 degrees, B and BP in 20 degrees. If I choose this one, this is going to be better because all these voltage are here in this operation voltage, okay? We have here operation voltage from 50 to 500. All these voltage are here. Okay? Let's say here that this inverter have other losses. So we can change the inverter without these losses. Just come here. And choose other one. Okay. It's another run, but it's the same inverter the same specification. The tail losses, I'm not going to talk about this because they have already the losses, yes, for default. Uh, this depends the module, uh, of the characteristics of the array. Solid loss, IAM loss, auxiliary engine, Unavailability, for example, because of the water or because of, for example, maintenance. I'm going to here to 1%. Periods. I put zero to five percent. It's okay. One one percent. It's okay. Yes, almost four days a year. We I don't have the panel because of maintenance, for example. I put in okay. We can put in self consumption if we want, but in this moment, no. Yes, the constant monthly daily profiles, probably profiles, household consumers, those values. And even if we have an Excel, we can load the Excel here, but now storage. If we want. You can put a storage, use yes, batteries, but in this moment, no. Okay, these are optional things. I'm not going to talk about this today. Yes, horizon near shading, we have some shading. We can 
draw here, yes, construction perspective. To calculate the shadow. The energy management. Yes, the power factor of the red heat power limitation. <clears throat> I don't know if we can just send to the grid some power as maximum. But I'm not going to talk about this. So we're just gonna run the simulation. And this is the simulation, okay? We can click on report. We're gonna get a PDF. It's generating the document. What we have here. Page two, project summary, yes. Page three. All of the characteristics, the losses, the inverter that we're gonna use, the PV module. Number four, here we have the relation. The performance ratio, yes, how much we create, how much we use. Number five, that's the interesting, is the efficiency, okay? The loss diagram. Why is <clears throat> really important this because reading this we can say oh we can make better we can enhance these parts of the system for example the PV loss is almost one hundred percent sorry one percent we can choose maybe another PV panels and we can make better this this one we cannot change because the pen of the temperature yes the pen of the weather module quality loss we can change this inverts in those we can change this system una variability yes this one is that we put a normal one day I guess it's all because of maintenance. And this first are graphics. So I hope that you like the video. I'm gonna do more videos in English for you guys. So thank you for watching me and see you the next time.